Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts. With respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists, this guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting to step one and step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep or a headlock or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight, but there aren't that many guys who are gonna wanna stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler holding a professional record of 45 wins, 9 losses. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Hillsboro, Illinois, presenting the member of the UFC Hall of Fame and former UFC welterweight champion, Matt Hughes. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, Grinton rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, the back your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? Are you ready? All right, so the fight is now underway on one side of the fighter who does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. Gonna be interesting to see how long he can keep up. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Lee gets caught with that punch. Gotta shore up the defense here. Leg kick. And they're exchanging leather early. Left eye. Timing the shots pretty well here over DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Oh, countered nicely there with a beautifully timed uppercut. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those legs. Oh, misses with the jab. Look at the whip action that comes to him throwing that kick. 
I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. He's trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Head kick. And he landed the right hand there. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. He's right down the middle. Try to establish that jab. Real sneaky body kick. Knee to the body, it is blocked. Big kick lands. They are throwing both sides with conviction. Oh, big head kick lands. Campbell inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Relax, relax. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good tonight. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Very nice leg kick there by Hughes. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Nice kick. Pretty good right hand. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Head kick. Oh, he continues to attack that bloody cheek. His face is a mess. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. He loaded up there on that high kick. He got him. What a fight we got going on here. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Straight right hand now, just misses. Big and kick. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Watch knees to the body. There's no give on that leg. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Leg kick, checked by Lee. Oh, and he caught the kick. Punch over the top. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Well, you gotta like the way he has started this fight tonight. He has come out aggressively, connecting on a lot of shots here in this first round. No doubt, a crowd-pleasing approach from him here tonight. Oh, strike attempt to the midsection, it's blocked. Beautiful kick. Going orthodox now. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Second right, round, like straight ahead. All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You gotta think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take two replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the make. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Nice straight punch. Oh, blocks the shot. Big power shot there. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. 
kicked so hard. He kicked so hard every time you can see him drive his shin into his opponent. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Great punch. Over and over, he's landed this big body kick. Oh, nice. Nice. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Hughes' cut is only getting worse, making a nice donation to the canvas tonight. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Very nice leg kick there by Hughes. Just out of range with that left hook. Straight punch lands. Just misses with the jet. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. All oh, high-level stuff as he counters with that right hand. Nice one-two there. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. We need to get a takedown now. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body kick. You're okay. You're okay. That is as big a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Big kick lands. Nice combination there. Wow, vicious uppercut. Combinations here. Oh, straight right. Oh! Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Good punch, Lance. There's no tell on that leg kick. Counter jab snaps the head back. That should get his attention. Just misses with the punch by Hughes. Nice body. And he continues to work the body here. Right hand by this young man. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Big punch lands through the middle. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Beautiful body lands right under the elbow. Ten minutes in the book. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. Get back out here, work on that. Slice open good. There's a lot of blood. 
All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Just unable to quite find that range. All right, let's go. Let's Sneaky go. head kick. Oh, and he caught the kick. And they separate. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, man, that cut looks terrible. He's bleeding like crazy. I wouldn't be surprised if they stopped the fight with that cut at some point. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Can't take many of those. You better check. Real nice body kick lands. Let's move that head now. Big head kick lands. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. And that left hook landed on the button. Big leg kick land. Flush right hand is true. Nice head movement to slip the left hand. Checks the leg kick. Big body kick. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Hughes. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. It's such a fast leg kick. What a punch. And both guys really throwing with authority. His opponent still stands. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Oh, and there's a kick now to the body. That one blocked by Hughes. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Hughes is lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Real quick leg kick. Out of range with that kick attempt. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Lee's kick is blocked. Nice loop and punch. All right, so he connects with another punch there, kind of targeting that cut, I think. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it and it's pouring blood, you continue to attack it. Every time you land, you can see that it splits it a little bit more. Great job finding that weakness and really taking advantage of it. Nice. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Cash money with that right-hand counter. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Powerful leg kick lands. Beautiful sequence of strikes there. Nice combination. Nice punch lands over the top. Kick. These guys are going at it. Hughes' cut on his cheek is nasty. Thank God these guys are tough because that thing will not stop bleeding at this point in time. Oh, that's a nice straight punch there. Through the punch, got to the target. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. And he caught the kick.
final seconds of round three. Nice punch land. Next Where's three rounds in the can, we're oh, headed to the championship round. Oh, the round is over and blood is just fauceting out of his cheek. That cheek has gotten out of control. Cut man can only do so much. And given the fact that that cut continues to be attacked by the opponent, if this thing gets any worse, they're going to stop this fight. All right, so there's the end of the round. And the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Blocks the shot. Big body keep land. Ooh, big shot land. Keep your hands up. Use your footwork now. It's okay. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Look at the turnover in that kick. And the Hall of Famer Hughes gets caught by that straight hand. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Way to hide that leg kick. Just missed with the left there. Beautiful leg kick throw. Hughes gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Beautifully timed and place kick there by Lee. The Hall of Famer Hughes gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Just misses with the jab there. Big punch land. Ooh. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. There. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Whoa! inflicted by the opponent all over that left thigh. Nice punch there. Just missing on the high kick there. Nice leg kick lands. Not there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Now connects with a right. his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a stinky head kick. He did not recognize it. was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. And that was a cutting leg kick. Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, straight right. Liver kick. Oh, he landed that knee to the midsection. Got to think his opponent's going to feel that one in the morning. And he's going to continue to throw that strike because he knows that his opponent can't take many of them. Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. There was a lot of pressure on him coming in. He has rolled out a lot of damage, landed a lot of strikes, near flawless execution. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is what's expected. When you're expected to win, sometimes it's hard to live up to that expectation. He lived up to that expectation, and he exceeded it with such a great performance. Nice punch lands over the top. Over the top. 
This fight's gonna be over this season. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He did stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent got him going low. And now he's got him hurt very bad. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. That right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing. Oh, nice jab. Beautiful punch. That's the end of the round. You see the cut on his lip, ladies and gentlemen, is only getting worse. Likely going to need to get stitched up after the fact. And blood in and around the mouth area could upset his breathing pattern. Not a good reality for him here tonight. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. And what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body. He throws them low. But when he goes up top, he's very powerful. And he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. Fifth and final round, fourth cover. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh! Back to the feet. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Lee's tough as it gets, but how about the size of that screws starting to form on his right side? Oh, nice punch there by Hughes. Great punch on the counter is good by Lee. Guys going all out. High action fight here. Oh, uppercut to the head, but it's blocked there by Hughes. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Big head kick. know when that leg kick's coming. Ooh, what a punch. Ooh, looking to counter with his left hand, but he misses. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. The Hall of Famer Hughes gets hit by that kick to the body. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Let's go. I need you to move. Let's back out of there. Back out of there now. Well, he put so much stock into this fight, and now we're late in the game. And if he doesn't get a finish, this opportunity goes by the board. I mean, it's almost over. He's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Beautiful body kick. Ooh, what a punch. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Back to the jab now, no good. Oh, and he caught the kick. Whoa! He's out! Holy smokes! What a performance! Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but 
Don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like he got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 55 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need a ticket to the afternoon.